This is what my laptop gaming setup currently looks like. It's kind of old and there's a lot of things that need to be upgraded. So today we're going to be upgrading it. All right. So firstly, I definitely have to upgrade this mouse. It's the Razer Mamba Elite and this thing is so old. It's like four or three years old. I had it. I'm surprised it's still holding up, but I definitely have to get rid of this. I definitely need to get a new mouse. So I'm going to get a new mouse because this thing is literally horrible. All right, so I got the Razer Viper Mini. This mouse was fairly cheap, and it's a really good mouse, too. Compared to my old mouse, this thing is literally way, way lighter. My old mouse was like 92-something, but this is like 62, man. This thing is actually a beast. All right, so I got it out of the box, and I can already tell this mouse's glide is way better than my old mouse. The mouse is also smaller than my old mouse, which is actually better, I'm not going to lie, because my hands are way smaller, and I feel like I could grip it way better. All right, so the next thing that I have is this microphone stand boom arm thing. So my setup still looks really bland, so I got these acoustic hexagon panels, and they're really nice, so let me just set them up. All right, I finished setting up these panels. They actually took me so long because they kept falling off, but they look really, really nice next to my setup. It gives it a really nice aesthetic vibe and I really like it. As you guys can see, the side of my setup looks really bland. There is nothing, it's just a blank wall. So I'm gonna add these shelves and display something nice. Finish setting up these floating shelves. They look really nice now that there's no blank space on the side of my setup. I may or may not add some extra RGB onto this side of the wall as it's still kind of bland, but that's fine for now. So the next thing I'm gonna be adding to my setup are these RGBIC Govi wall lights. They are really clean and I'm gonna show you guys what's inside. All right, so opening it up, you can already see that there is around six of these long wall lights. The back of these lights have their own adhesive, so you don't have to add your own tape. It also comes with this little curve piece, and you can attach two wall lights to each side to have a little curve effect. These wall lights are like Legos. You snap them together and they form one big whole light. Once that is all set up, as you guys can see, this thing looks really, really clean on the side of my wall. They also send me these RGBIC Govi wall ropes. They're really long and I'm gonna put them around these panels to make them have a really cool glow outer effect. And it's just overall gonna be really sick. So once the rope lights are added to the setup, they give it a really nice glow and it looks overall really really clean all these lights are controlled via the govi app on your smartphone so i can just turn on these lights right now directly from my phone so simply i can just press the on button for both of these lights and as you guys can see they start to turn on and it's really really nice you can even control the effect of the light on your smartphone as well and as you guys can see this makes it look even better this is why i love govi compared to other brands they also have really cool scene effects that you can add or you can make your own the current one i'm showing you guys is the rainbow effect this is one of my favorite ones it's really nice if you guys want the best lights to improve your setup i highly recommend govi the link to govi will be down in the description if you guys are interested in the best lights so the next thing that i have is this microphone stand boom arm thing i really don't know much about boom arm so all i did was just search up my mic and then following it up with boom arm on amazon and just bought the closest one so yeah, let's just unbox this and set it up. Alright, I finally finished setting up the boom arm, which took so long. This bottom part of the boom arm, which grips onto your table, took so long to adjust as it was literally the exact size of my table, so I had to do some adjustments. This boom arm also came with this little puff filter looking thing. I don't know what this is, but it came with it, and it's actually pretty nice. So this was designed specifically for my mic, which is the Fi Fine. 
I had it for some time. It's pretty nice and it's really flexible. So I really like it. All right, the next thing we have here is the YouTube plaque, man. This thing literally took around three months to come. Decline me the first time. I don't know why, but yeah, let's do a quick unboxing of this. This is actually gonna be crazy, man. I, I, I literally waited so long for this. Thank you everyone who supported me, man. You guys are literally the real ones, man. Here we go. Oh my God, we got the little foam. Yo, they got a whole letter in here. Read this, literally. Oh my god. Inspected by Rick, you know? This thing is a beauty, man. I'm gonna take it out. <laughs> Yo, look at this thing. This is actually crazy. It's so reflective, so I have to make sure not to show my face. Look at it. Oh my god. Back. You know, I'm gonna hang it up. This is actually crazy, man. Thank you all for this. I also bought a webcam, which I really needed as I was literally running the laptop's webcam, which is a 720p horrible webcam. This is the Sui Rui webcam. Nothing too heavy. It just gets the job done, you know, hand cams, all that stuff. So let me just get it out. You know, super basic webcam. I really like it, though. It's really flexible. And I tried it out on OBS and the quality is fantastic, man. I really, really like this webcam. Another great thing is I could hook it up to a mount and I could make some POV videos way easier straight to my computer because I was running my phone for those type of videos. But mostly I'm going to use it for my keyboard cam for when I stream on Twitch. King, what the fuck on Twitch? Follow me, follow me. So I'm also upgrading my headset, which is the HyperX headset to a Turtle Beach headset. I don't currently have it yet for this video as it's still coming from Zen. It's a $300 headset, which is going to be crazy. I have no more use for this headset. So if you guys want a giveaway, just let me know. So I replaced my laptop fan with this stand and it looks way better. And obviously you guys can hear how loud the fan is without the cooling fan. So I'm probably going to get a cooling pad soon just so this laptop can shut up bro this thing is literally like a motor truck so the setup is complete and i want to show you guys what everything looks like This is the complete dream laptop gaming setup. I upgraded mostly everything that I can with just a few things that are left out like my keyboard. The best part of the setup has to be the RGB lights that go around the panels. This thing looks really clean combined with this wall light. And overall, it just looks really, really clean. The only thing left to upgrade, honestly, is just the laptop itself and probably the mouse bungee, but that's literally all. This setup is actually complete, but who knows? Maybe I could upgrade this setup one day, once again, fully revamp it.